Hello and welcome back to another video. It's uh, currently Sunday evening. It's Halloween tomorrow. And uh, I've had a lovely weekend. We did some shopping in uh, Costco on Saturday. Went and got some pumpkins, started carving them. And then we've done a bit more shopping in, uh, in Horwich today. And then we've just had a nice chill as a family this afternoon. And I uh, tried to sit down for a couple of hours and do some work on a Sunday. God forbid. Uh, but I have a job up on the CX at the minute that is a real job. It's just, it's not it's not until Wednesday. I post it early to get some quotes in, so I can go over them with you. Because uh, a lot of people comment on the video saying like the point of view of the shipper, like they see the prices that people put putting in. Because like I think people need to stick to their guns because pr the prices vary so much and. Also, <laughs> when when you're bidding on a job, please look at the job properly. Because the job I've posted is for a flatbed. So I need a long wheelbase flatbed, three and a half ton flatbed, nothing more than that. And out of the 10 quotes I've currently got, only two of them are actually flatbeds. Well, two of them are flatbeds, uh, two of them are wagons, so they could cover it as well. But I'll just go over some prices with you then. Right, so I'll go from cheapest to most expensive. So the first price I've got is a hundred and one. Oh, so let me tell you what the job is first. That would make more sense, wouldn't it? Right, so one wheel base flatbed, Birmingham, Birmingham, Stockport. Two collections in Birmingham, delivered to Stockport. Uh, it's 106 miles in total. So quote number one was from a long wheel base panel van. So obviously they can't do the job anyway, but I'm going to tell you. Uh, £101, so that's 95 pence per mile. 95p a mile? Well, they've not read it, it's a flatbed, because flatbeds go for quite a bit more. Right, number two, long wheelbase panel van again. Uh, £150, so £1.42 a mile. Number three, extra long wheelbase panel van again. Uh, £180, uh, £1.69 a mile. Number four, a long wheelbase panel van. Again, it's a flatbed job, people. Come on, uh, hundred ninety-five pound, one pound eighty-four a mile, and then we have a flatbed. A flatbed is quoted on the job for one hundred ninety-five pounds. So that's one pound eighty-four a mile. Uh, then we've got a another long wheelbase panel van, two hundred pounds. So that's one pound eighty-eight a mile, and then. We've got the big daddy. We've got a 13.6 metre flatbed Arctic. And these actually phoned me um, on Friday last week to say, oh, we've got a van in, we've got a, a wagon in the area available. Uh, we can do it today. And I, I, I said the job's not until the second, it's not till Wednesday. They went, all oh, right, well, we'll leave the court, but we might have a, might have a vehicle there at a time as well. Um, so they quoted £250, so it's £2.35 per mile, but I had a look at them, they've got about 10 good feedback and 6 negative for disrespectful drivers, being late, collecting late, damaging goods and stuff like that, so uh, I think I'm just going to scrub them off the list straight away. Right, next one is another flatbed, an actual flatbed. This is a three and a half ton flatbed, and it's £295. So that's £2.78 per mile. That's expensive for a flatbed. Now, um, I booked a flatbed a couple of months ago. Uh, I've booked a fair few flatbeds actually, and they've always cost me between like £1.50 and £1.80 a mile. So I do think it's worth having a flatbed because you can get decent rates for them. But, £2.78 a mile. Bit excessive for me, that one. Right, next up, a Luton. Obviously, they've not read the description. I've asked for a flatbed. Not a Luton box like they've got. So, uh, £395, which is £3.73 per mile. That is just out the window. That's ridiculous. There's no chance that's happening. And finally... A seven and a half ton flatbed. £420. So 
That's £3.97 per loaded mile. What? For a seven and a half son. I watch Peter Courier drivers videos. I'm pretty sure he charges between £2.50 and £3 a mile. Why are you charging me? Nearly £4. Seems excessive, really excessive. Um, and they actually left a comment in their um, in the, in their bed. Oh, so it's not a, it's not a seven and a half ton truck. It's seven and a half ton flatbed. No, no, it's not a seven and a half ton flatbed. It's seven and a half ton truck, but it's seven six meters tall, seven meters long, and two and a half meters wide. Which seems a bit strange to me, but they could fit because the issue they. Reason I booked a flatbed is because of the height of what I need to pick it up. I can get Lutons to pick it up, but they they cost me like three pound a mile, so it's cheaper to get a flatbed, and the customer's happy with a flatbed, so that's what we're going to do. Um, but no, three pound ninety seven mile, no chance, not happening. So what I'm going to do is tomorrow I'm going to actually ring some of these long wheelbase, extra long wheelbases that bid on the job, just to see if they do have a flatbed in their fleet or the have someone that uses a flatbed that they work with, just to see why they've put the bids up, really. If not, probably £195 flatbed, £1.84 per mile. I'll probably be giving them the job. Uh, it's a good rate, anyway, £1.84. It's not too bad, it's about right, anyway. Right, so as I said at the start of the video, I've, <laughs> I spent a portion of today paying drivers. So... September, I used 59 subbies. I posted 59 jobs on the courier exchange. Uh, so obviously, I pay 30 days end of month. Um, so that means today's the 30th. Everyone needs paying. I'd already paid um, over half the people early because as the money came in, I just paid them. But I was actually waiting for some money to come in because the customer hadn't paid me on time. Um, so I could pay everyone today. So that's what I did. I sat down, it took me about two hours because I seem to keep using new people, then new people. Like, so I've, all, I've got to re add them to my accounting software as a contact, put their invoice in, which I've, I've already done at this point, and then I've got to take their invoice, put it into my bank, all the bank details, and pay them. <laughs> so it does take a little while. So it was about, yeah, two hours, two and a half hours. So I sat down doing it. Um, but until about 20 minutes ago, I'd only paid 58 of them because as I was going through the CX, there was one that hadn't sent an invoice. Now, not everyone's posted the invoice on the CX. I don't actually post the invoice on the CX. I email or uh, send them in post. Um, so I don't use the CX software to do my invoices. Um, so th this customer in particular uh, hadn't put put it on the CX, hadn't emailed it to me, and I went through all the postal ones, and it wasn't there either, so I was a bit, hmm, this is a bit strange, so uh, I went on their profile on the CX, they had two numbers, so I phoned them both, first one rang, 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 nothing, no answer, uh, no no option for voicemail or anything like that, second one, went straight to voicemail, I left him a voicemail, hi, it's James at Freddie Fletcher Limited, uh, you got an outstanding. Uh, I've got an outstanding invoice to pay for yourselves, but I've not received the invoice, uh, so I can't pay you. Please get in touch with me as soon as possible so it can be paid on time. And about two hours later, the original phone call, the original number that I phoned, phoned me back, and we got it sorted. So they're paid on time. So that's everybody paid on time. So anybody watching these videos that are paid, leave me some feedback, please. Thank you. So it's quite strange, actually, because as a courier, whenever I do a job, I always leave feedback. But when I post jobs and I pay people, about 5% of people actually give me feedback. So out of them 60 people that are paid, like, there's not... Only a few of them will ever give me feedback, which I find quite annoying, really. Because... Like it shows like on your on your profile obviously, like how much feedback you've had, and I, I want it to be like good feedback. 
because everybody wants good feedback. But I can't have good feedback if nobody gives it me, even though they're all being paid on time. Like, there's one thing I hate. I hate late payers. I hate late pay payers. People pay me late, which means I'm then struggling to pay everyone else on time, the drivers. So I do whatever I can to make sure everybody is paid on time, even if I'm not. I, I do it all the time. Uh, sometimes I really annoy Leanne because it really stresses me out over it. And she's always like, <laughs> like, calm down, calm down. People understand if it's a day late and I do not ever want to pay anyone a day late. I've done it once where I paid someone late and that's genuinely because I don't even know why that was. Like, I couldn't find, I, I completely missed their invoice. I didn't put it on the accounting software. I didn't put it through the bank. I, I completely just missed it. And it really annoyed me, it really wound me up. But it took them two weeks to email me to remind me that it'd been missed. And that day I paid it. But if they would have emailed me the next day, I would have paid it. But I just I didn't see it. I thought, oh, I paid everyone, relax now until the end of next month and I'll pay everyone again. Two weeks later, middle of the month, I was like, I an email, I've not paid someone, oh no. And <sighs> drives me up the wall, like, stresses me out. Like, I hate late payers, so accidentally not paying someone else on time Oof, that that did me that stressed me out for days i was going through making sure i paid everyone oh what if i've done it what if i've done it again what if i've done it again because it is it, it's difficult like keeping on top of everything because obviously i've got to subby the jobs out phone the shit phone the driver book it with them keep an eye on the driver make sure they deliver on time and then I've got to wait for the invoice to come in. Whatever way it comes in, grab it and find time to put it on the accounting software so it's definitely getting paid on time. And someday, sometimes I have to have a day off in the week just to catch up on admin work, which I don't need. I should be out in the van earning money, but I can't always do that. So it is quite stressful being a driver and a shipper. I've actually spoke to a few people uh, who's com commented on my videos who have tried doing it and found their own customers and tried subbing jobs out, but ended up just stopping it because it was too difficult, like too much on, on top of it all the time. But I'm plowing through, I'm going to keep subbing jobs out, I'm going to keep paying everyone on time. I've accidentally woke Finley up because I'm talking too loudly, so she's going to cry in a minute. So that's my cue to leave. So please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.